Hey, it's always sunny with me. This is your realtor, Jersey Lee. Let's go see the only pre-sale project in the last six years in the Kukulim Center area, Tiananmen Center by Mosaic. Let's go check it out. Hey, this is Tiananmen Center by Mosaic's beauty model. As you can see on this map, this way is facing north, and that's west, east, and south. So where we are right now in this uh, showroom is where this kind of empty land is. In the future, it'll be developed into this north tower, 28th floor high. Right now, we're selling south tower of uh, Tiananmen Center, which is 30 floor high. This way on the east side, you have the best view. That's why they put all the townhouses here with a rooftop patio that see over the trees and all the single houses here, so you can see a beautiful view. And on the fifth floor, that's where the podium level is, where you have your gym, you have your meditation area, you have a kids playing area, barbecue, community garden, everything from sixth floor to 11th floor, that's rental units. They're gonna share a lot of stuff with you in the building, but city requires it, so there's no way around it. From 12th floor to 30th floor, that's all the residential units that you can buy. Come this way, then you can see over here, the first floor to fourth floor, they're actually all parking levels. There are five parking levels total, one below grade, four above ground. Very nicely situated at the border of Coquitlam and uh, Port Coquitlam. Your zip code is actually Poco, but you're just one street away from uh, the Coquitlam Center area. Anson Avenue actually stopped here right now, but once this project developed, Anson Avenue will be extended over here. Okay, let's quickly talk about the views of, uh, if that's what you care when buying pre-sales. On the north side, you have your north tower going to be developed. Only those corner units may not get blocked, but other units probably get blocked views. If you're facing south, because this is a triangle lot, over here there's some uh, old houses, likely they're going to be developing to something as well. Facing west, across uh, westward, right now there's some commercial units, some old lots. Again, based on the development of this area, likely gonna be some other high-rise buildings you're gonna be blocked as well. So the best view, now our point, is to east, I guess previously mentioned, only single house zonings. So now you can, the townhouses and your residential units over here will be super nice views. Hey, let's look at the Harper plan, the two bedroom unit, the best for investment, because it's 700 square feet roughly, and it's no waste of space. Over here you have your heat pump system installed, and then you have a washer dryer with some organizer space. Now let's walk this way. You have a guest bathroom and you have a guest bedroom that doesn't have window but have a lot of closet space. That's all the included. You have your kitchen space with the hanger over there. This table is not included, but you can uh, upgrade it. You have a nice fridge here as well. You can put a big sofa here. Uh, with a floor to ceiling kind of uh, window door. And now we walk into the master bedroom and you can see you have large windows here. Organizers, they are included. You can design it however you like. You can put two on the both side or you can put two on one side. Over here then you have the bathroom, master bathroom uh, with a standard shower, very nice. All right, now let's take a look at Baker plan. Almost 800 square feet interior space, best for self-living. Heat pump installed over here and your one of the bedroom that has big windows and your bathroom with bus tub. And over here, it's very grand kitchen with almost no job down, as you can see. Nice feet ceiling all across. You can put an uh, L-shaped sofa here, no problem at all. You have dining, living space separated. And here is your primary bedroom. Almost 800 square feet interior only, but you can put a king bed here with large windows and closet organizers. And bathroom is that way, nice. Now that we're in the showroom, let me show you the surrounding area of Tana Center by Mosaic. Now we're getting on Westwood, which is a divider of Coquillum and Port Coquillum. They're actually for Town Center uh, by Mosaic, their uh, address postcode is POCO, but you're so close to Coquillum Center, just one street. You can see this is the showroom, which the North Tower will be, and that fenced up area, that's the South Tower, which we're selling. Now we're driving towards North on Westwood, you see on my right side, there's some old houses. Likely, they're gonna be building to some high-rise tower in the future as well, um, because you see here, there's another building by Ani. Um, they don't have air conditioning though. Um, now, we're getting across Lincoln Avenue, which we'll see a big park, and that's called Glam Park. 
Hey, if you know what these uh, big trees are, leave you a comment below. I'll send you a $50 gift card. You know, easy for pets, easy for, for people walk around this area, super nice. Inside of city center, you have such a large park. Right downstairs of you, that's great. If you turn your camera this way, you can see an existing building. Uh, that's the newest one since uh, this building 2018 by Sephora by Polygon. But this is kind of the newest building before Mosaic. So for six years in this area, there hasn't been any high-rise concrete buildings built. That's why a Town & Center by Mosaic is super popular. I heard from the salespeople in the showroom that there are some residents just knock on their door and goes, hey, we don't care how much it is, just reserve me a unit. That's how popular it is. There's just huge demand. And now we're turning right on Glen, and you can see there's an elementary school, a Glen Elementary. Um, there used to be some older classrooms, those portable style, but now they extended, renovated, make it much, much nicer. And right in front of us, you see another site fenced up. The developers, Let Mac, another developer, uh, the project's called Cadence. And, and Let Mac usually, because they have deep pocket, usually they build the building halfway, then they start pre sell rather than pre sell right away. Um, now, let's just go back to uh, Lincoln Avenue and show you more what's surrounding area. And over here, you see another site, again, by Letmark. It's just a lot of, lot of uh, new builds here. But even though here you see a lot of high rise, it doesn't block your view. If you buy town and center, like I said in the showroom, if you buy any units facing east, like if you put your shoot your camera over that side, you see it's all just trees and single families. That's your view if you're facing east, unblocked. Now we're getting back on Lincoln Avenue. We're driving towards west, three minutes walking distance from town and center by Mosaic. You will see first, there's a Henderson Mall. Welcome to Henderson Mall. They have a nice foot court, very clean. And downstairs, you see they have a um, grocery shopping area. It's almost like Crystal Mall in Burnaby, right? Does it feel that way? Let's go. Actually pretty good. Uh, now we're driving more towards west and now we're gonna turn right. Uh, I wanna show you the, where the, uh, the library is. So this SkyTrain station is Lincoln SkyTrain station, the closest to you if you buy Town & Center by Mosaic. It's about just five minutes walking distance, super convenient, yet you're away from the SkyTrain noise. Okay, now we're turning right on Pine Tree Way, which towards the north side, uh, driving towards, uh, if you can go really far, you can get to uh, Westwood Plateau, where all the luxury type of homes um, in Coquillum. So, but first thing you can see is the Coquillum City Center Library, and on my left side, you see there's more construction sites going on. Now we just passed that library, and on uh, both sides of me, you see construction sites. On the right, you have uh, by Ani. Earlier on the left, you see by Latmac. Now we're gonna turn left on Glen Drive, where we get you to High Street, where that true downtown of uh, Coquillum Center. Yeah, so a lot of offices, uh, dental offices. It's another site over here. <laughs> There's so many. So this area, like I said in the showroom, there's gonna be 40 new towers. This is the future of Coquitlam. Now we're gonna turn left on the High Street. And if we keep driving, then we'll get to the mall. Hey, no wonder it's called Town & Center because we are at Coquillum Center. Look at all these Christmas feeling. You have Walmart, you have TNT, you have Sephora, you have everything that you can imagine in this mall. Let's go take a look. Hey, now that we've seen the mall, now we're turning back onto Pine Tree Way. Now we're going towards the south direction and you can see the mountain, that's the Blue Mountain on the Poco side. Yeah, right across the mall, you will see there's banks, the bubble ward, the Chinese restaurants. They're actually the nicest save on foods in all BC. And over that, that's the Coquillum Center station with the West Coast Express going directly to waterfront. Yeah, the people are already waiting here. Like they have a timetable. You can go to downtown directly. Wow, very convenient, cool. Yep, now we're turning on uh, Barnett Highway. On my right side, you will see a big site by Marcon. That's gonna be Nye Future Towers with Hotel. Right now, it's the old Chrysler. The site is very deep, very large land. That's why, you know, I said there can be 40 towers in this area. No surprise, there's just huge demand. A big superstore as well. You see all these stores, it's just at your fingertips, at your footsteps. You have White Spot, 
Popeye, Taco Bell, KFC, all the Chinese restaurant, Korean restaurant, everything you can imagine. It's crazy how this area will be developed into in about five to 10 years. So I think the best time to buy is actually now. So Kukurim Center area compared with, for example, River District or um, Freezer Mills by BD, that area, this area is more convenient, much more convenient. For example, Freezer Mills, right now, it's nothing there. It's just old storage space tucked in uh, close to the river, not close to any SkyTrain station. But here, you are like, what, five minutes walking distance to a SkyTrain station? You are, what, like seven minutes walking distance to TNT, the big mall, and everything. Uh, so here, as investment opportunity, it'll get you return faster and better. Even though it's just a hundred dollars per square foot more expensive than, for example, freezer meals, but I think it's much more worthy. Do you agree with me? Leave a comment below.